The Tennessee Titans host the New York Jets on Sunday. The Jets, a two and a half point favorite on BetDAC, 42 the total in this game. Now look, this is going to be an ugly game. These are two bad teams, both these teams, two and 11. Titans had a golden opportunity to pick up a home win over another bad team last week, but they failed miserably, losing 36 to seven to the New York Giants. That is why we, see, we have seen some Jets line movement here this week. That's one of the reasons anyway. The Titans actually opened as a slight favorite in this game, but as we said, the Jets now a two and a half point favorite. Hard to believe anybody's eager to bet on the New York Jets after what we've seen out of them this season. As we mentioned, 2-11, and 11, their head coach Rex Ryan will be fired as soon as the season's over. They're going with Geno Smith at quarterback, who leads the NFL in turnovers since the beginning of last season. But there are two things, two things the New York Jets can do. They can run the football and they can stop the run. Second in the NFL in rushing offense, Jets averaging over 149 yards per game on the ground and they're fifth in the league in rushing defense. And you look at this Tennessee defense, 32nd, dead last against the run. So that's sort of where the rubber meets the road here. That is why a lot of people jumping on that New York Jets bandwagon this week, because in the Jets you have a team with a stable of veteran running backs. Chris Johnson, the former Tennessee Titans, has been getting more work lately. Chris Ivory still the lead back in New York. They're, they're going up against the NFL's worst rushing defense. So you would think this New York offense would be able to do what they would want to do, and you would think that would be enough to deliver the win. However, the Jets average just 16.5 points per game this season. They rank last in the NFL in pass yards per game. So I'd be very, very careful about trusting them with your money. I'm actually looking at the other side here. Because the Tennessee Titans, going with veteran Jake Locker at quarterback this week, it's out of necessity, of course. Rookie Zach Mettenberger injured out for the rest of the season. I think that's a blessing in disguise for the Titans. I've been off the Titans for the last several weeks, ever since they put Mettenberger in the lineup. You know, they by doing that, they sort of announced that they're not in win-now mode anymore, and they were playing for the future, whatever that means. Uh, certainly tough if you're a paying fan going to see the Tennessee Titans play and they're trotting out a quarterback who may or may not give the team their best chance to win. I do not believe Mettenberger gave the team the best chance to win. And indeed, they never won a game with Mettenberger under center. Jake, Lock Jake Locker playing for his NFL future here over these next couple of weeks. Now, it's not going to be in Tennessee. There's no question about that. But Locker probably going to get picked up somewhere. And how he plays here these next couple of games is going to make a difference. I do believe Jake Locker going to be a big upgrade over Zach Mettenberger at quarterback. And the Jets, not good at all in the secondary. They're good up front on defense. They can stop the run, but they are not good in the secondary. So I think the Tennessee offense is going to have more success here than they have had in recent weeks. And my favorite bet here is actually the over. 42 the total in this game. I like the over. Always risky to bet the over in games involving the New York Jets. But this week, I think it's the right call. And I also have a lean towards the home team here. You know what? I don't think the Jets are a good enough team to be a road favorite over anybody. That includes the Tennessee Titans. We mentioned Locker back in the lineup for Tennessee. I think that might be just enough to get him the win in what's likely to be an ugly game. So again, over 42, my favorite bet here. Also lean towards Tennessee plus 2.5.